Right, hi everybody. Um, we're going to do a bit of rust dyeing today. Um, all you need for this are some old bits of rusty objects, so nails, um, uh, old bits of wire, anything that you can find lying around. I found this old, um, it's actually from <laughs> the roof of an old shed, it's an old bit of corrugated iron, it's really rusty, um, which is perfect and actually this breaks up beautifully. When I break it up, all these little bits come of iron sort of sprinkle onto the surface, which you can sort of probably see. Um, and I'm hoping that this will make a good um, print. So what you do is you, you layer up, you find your, you'll find your fabric first of all, it has to be natural. You pre-soak it with vinegar first and you let it dry. Um, probably a good idea to iron things, but I haven't bothered. Um, and I've actually used, this is a bit of silk velvet, which, um, I've actually pre-dyed in, it's a bit like cochineal, but it's called lac, so it's um, it's the extract of a beetle called lac, that beetle. Um, and, but you don't, don't need to do that, you can just use any, any sort of cotton. Um, pre dyeing is quite good because the contrast is quite good, um, but, um, you know, white works equally as well. So again, as the tutorial from last week, um, t-shirts, napkins, tea towels, anything like this, just scraps of fabric if you want to have a little play to begin with. And then what you're doing is you're layering up all your different things. So you can use um, plant material as well. Um, I quite like it if you add, if you put, so eucalyptus is quite a good leaf to use. You can actually get a little bit of dye out of the eucalyptus leaf. And then if you put the rusty object on top, what I'm hoping is that the that's going to act as a resist to the rust, so you might get the shape of the leaf. So equally, I'm going to sort of put the fern leaf around this little bit of rust here and around this bit of rust, um, and we'll see what happened, um, happens. This little bit of chicken wire um, is also um, quite rusty, so I'm gonna pop some of this under here. Um, what else can we use? Whoops, I am knocking my camera slightly. There we go. What else can we use? Um, I have got some net and I've got some plants, some flower heads there, which could work. So you, you're layering up essentially. And then what you want to do is um, you can take some cling film. I don't use cling film because it's not very good for the environment. So I've just cut up all uh, plastic bags that I've got. And what you want to do is you want to roll this up as tightly as you can into a bundle. So this takes a minute, so you're going to just start off. It can be quite difficult if you've got some uh, metal underneath, that can be a little bit tricky to get started. Yeah, so the reason, once again, that we're using the plastic is so that it doesn't resist too much. Um, sorry, it doesn't uh, print on the other side, which we don't really want to do. Um, there's a slight variation to this, which I'm gonna show you on my next sample. But in the meantime, we just wanna roll up this bundle, get it nice and tight. There we go. And then we're gonna fold it over. I think we can probably only fold it once. Um, I'm actually using, this is, this is um, can you see this? This is floristry wire. Um, I tried it yesterday when I was doing a sample because I couldn't find any string. I can never find any string. And it rusted. So what actually happened was, when we steamed it, um, it actually started to rust. And because you can get it quite tight as well, I see all these little wrinkles um, in here when you're pulling it tight. That's actually a really, a really good little extra tip. You don't have to use it, but if you've got it lying around, I've been making some Christmas wreaths earlier in the year and some Easter wreaths. So I have this lying around, but it does rust quite well. So I'm getting it nice and tight. So this little bundle is now ready. Um, when you're cutting wire, a little tip, um, don't use good scissors, because you will blunt them. These are really terrible scissors, so I don't mind using those. So that is bundle number one. Um, bundle number two here, you see that, it's slightly different. Um, what I've done is I've actually layered everything up on one side, and also actually I've just found, if you can see this, I've been rusting some wire in vinegar just to see if that does anything. I've probably slightly overloaded this, um, but the reason um, is just so that I can see what works and what doesn't work and what adds as a resist and what doesn't. So, um, 
What I'm gonna do with this, I'm wondering if this does a little mirror print. I don't know, will it? We will see. It's all an experiment. That's what it's all about. So we don't need any plastic for this. Tuck that in. Um, and again, I'm just gonna, gonna roll this up. Now I've got some metal in here, so this is gonna be quite hard to roll, but it's nothing precious, so I don't mind at all. You can hear it all crunching underneath. That's a really big bit at the end. So you should be wearing gloves for this, but I have run out of gloves because we've been using them quite a lot recently, as you'd imagine. Um, can I bend it over again? Let's have a little look. Yeah. Get it nice and tight, and then once again, you're wrapping it up with your wire, and we'll see whether this wire does anything to the fabric. Now, these bits of fabric I have pre-soaked in vinegar and dried out. I think I mentioned that at the beginning, but you must do that first because it really does help. Once you start steaming, that vinegar starts to react with the metal and a little, little chemical reaction happens there. And what happens is it all starts to, to change, change colour. So the rust comes out in the fabric and I'm hoping that the leaves will act as a resist. So I think we're probably done with this bundle. Now, the next stage is you want to put these, can you see here, put these in a, a, a pot. This is my little steamer machine that I've made. So I've got my, got my jam pot, got my little colander, and what we're gonna do is pop those in there and give them a little bit of a squirt of vinegar first. Let me just get my vinegar spray. Um, it's better if they're, if they're saturated in vinegar first. That really, really helps. Move it around a little bit. So even though it's pre-saturated, this is just like an extra, extra little layer here just to help the reaction slightly. So, That's pretty much ready. It's smelling quite vinegary in here. Wait till you start boiling. Okay, so pretty much that's ready to go now. I'm going to put a lid on that and I'm going to boil it for one hour, steam it for one hour rather. You have to be really careful, health and safety tip here. Don't let the water run dry because your pan could catch fire. Um, so simmer it. So boil it up to begin with and then simmer it for an hour and just keep topping up, keep topping up your water as and when you need to. Then once you've steamed that, here's a little baby one that I did earlier. You take, take it out, you have to let it cool down first. Now I highly recommend wearing, wearing gloves, can you see this? Because the iron has turned black and it gets a bit messy, but I'm kind of used to that, so it's fine. Um, but do let it cool down first, because obviously as soon as you've steamed it, that's gonna be super hot. And we're opening it up and I'm going to pop it back down on the table because the plant mass is going to come out and you can see here taking the plastic off that's that's quite nice you've got can you see this you've got a good bit of resist here from a leaf you've got the black the black from the iron which has stained the fabric here and you've got various rust things happening and if you look closely you can see some of the um, the lines where the iron has um, sort of cut into the fabric and acted as a resist it's very important now to actually put this in a solution of, of salt so I would just get a saucepan or a bowl put a bit of a cup of salt in there add this in and um, the alkaline of the salt will, will stop the acid um, uh, creating a reaction and burning a hole in the fabric um, because iron, the iron and the vinegar is still reacting at this moment. So it's actually going to burn a hole in your fabric. So you want to neutralize that. Um, and then you're done. Um, and I think it's a really good idea to try and learn from these samples and see uh, the different reactions that have happened and the different resists that have happened. You know, why is this sort of purpley black? Why is this rusty brown? why is this slightly greener so analyze the things that you put in make little notes and then when you're you know each time when you're improving you can sort of develop your develop your scale skill a little bit more i've got some ideas for some next ones which um 
I will do in another tutorial, um, sort of building on from this. But I look forward to showing you the results of my next steaming. I'll see you in a minute.